Hi guys, in this video we're going to have a look at uh, how we change the subject of a formula, also known as uh, rearranging equations. Okay, so in all my examples, I want to make W the subject, which means I need to end up with having W equals and then something, depending on what obviously what the question is. Okay, now I'm going to use the balance method to uh, solve and rearrange these equations. So if you're used to using the flow chart, make sure you check out my other rearranging video which uses the flow chart. Okay, but if you use the balance method, which tends to be with the uh, higher students, this is the video for you. Okay, so let's get started. With the first one, again, I wanna make W the subject. So this is what I wanna make um, the subject, so W here on its own. So I have a look on it, and on this side of the equals, I have this plus 7m, so I don't want that, I just want w. So all I do is using the balance method, is I do the opposite and I minus 7m, and if I do it from this side, I need to do it from this side as well, in which case I'll have f minus 7m on this side of the equals, and then I'm just left with w on that side. In which case I've now done, because w is now the subject, it's w equals this. Okay, so that's all you need to do. Same thing here. Again, I want to have W on its own. So I have a look where it is it's on the right hand side. And I've got this minus R and this F. So just like if you were solving equations, you deal with this bit first because the F is tied up with the W. So I'll deal with the minus R by doing the opposite and adding R to both sides. So I'm left with T plus R on the left, and then I'm left with F, W on the right hand side. So again, I've got W and I've got this F. So F, W just means F times W. So to get rid of that, I do the opposite and I divide by F. Don't forget to do it to both sides so it's balanced. So T plus R, divide everything divided by uh, F in this case. And it's W, so make sure you draw the line edge so that everything is divided by F. Let's have a go at this one, very similar. So I've got this plus K and I'm times in W by RT. So get rid of the K first by taking away K, again to both sides. So I've got E minus K equals RTW. Now this just means that R times T times W. So I just want W so I can get rid of RT just by dividing by RT. So if I divide both sides by RT, it'll get rid of it. So I'm left with E minus K, everything divided by RT, and then that equals W. So again, W is the subject. Let's have a look at this one. So in this particular case, I've got minus 2AW. Now, if it's a minus, what I would do is turn it into a positive, just to make it easier to work with. You can mess about with it uh, as a negative, but it is tricky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plus 2AW to both sides, as I'm doing here. So if you do that, I have R plus 2AW equals M. So now, as you can see, it's now positive. It's moved over to the left-hand side, but it's not a problem, okay, because it's now positive. And then you can just do the same steps we were doing over here. So I'm going to minus R to both sides, which leaves me with 2AW equals M minus R. And then just like I did over there, I'm going to divide by 2A getting a bit squished. Divide by 2a, so I'm left with w equals m minus r divided by 2a. So it is a bit squished, though. I do apologise. Hopefully with my commentary it is easy to uh, see what's going on there. Same thing here, I've got minus r squared w, so again it's minus, so I'm going to plus it, plus r squared w to both sides to make it positive. So I've got P plus R squared W equals N. So again, just because it's R squared, it doesn't mean anything. Just treat it as you would any other uh, variable or number. Then I can get rid of my P. 
So minus P to both sides. So I'm left with R squared W equals N minus P. Then I can get rid of the R squared. So all I do, currently it's saying R squared times W. So all I do is just divide by R squared. So divide by R squared, both sides. So W equals N minus P divided by R squared. This one here, I've got W there. I'm currently doing 5W divided by 2, so I'm going to get rid of that 2. To get rid of a divide by 2, we do the opposite and times by 2. Again, both sides. So I'll have 2V equals 5W. 5W means 5 times W, so I'm going to do the opposite and divide by 5, both sides. So I have 2V divided by 5 equals W, and again, W is then the subject. Okay, so hopefully you're starting to see the gist of what I'm trying to do here. Getting a bit trickier, I've got 2W plus 3, all divided by 5. So I'm going to get rid of that divide by 5 by doing the opposite and times in by 5. So I'll have 5D equals 2W plus 3. Then I'm going to get rid of that 3 because the 2 is tied up with the W. So I minus 3 both sides. So I'll be left with 5D minus 3 equals 2W. And you've probably guessed it, because that's 2 times W, I do the opposite and divide by 2 both sides. So I'm left with 5D minus 3 all divided by 2, and again that equals W. Now this one here, W is divided by A, but I've randomly got this plus X. So I want to get rid of that first before doing anything with the W. So I'm going to minus X to both sides to get rid of that from the right hand side. So M minus X equals W divided by A. Now I'm going to get rid of that divide by A. So I do the opposite and I times both sides by A. But again, I want to times all of this by A. So this is where it's a bit different. I then put it into a bracket. So I'm going to then end up times in M minus X by A, because I put it into brackets. So if you were to expand the brackets, obviously you're timesing everything by A. And of course that makes the subject W. Okay, so you can expand them if you want, or you can leave it like that. Either way, W is now the subject. Okay, so this is another example there to look out for. So, a few more here to have a look at. Now, in this particular case, when I've got a bracket, what I would do is I'd always expand the bracket. So that's what I'm going to do first. So P equals 8W minus 2N. So if you don't know how to expand brackets, have a look at my video expanding single brackets, and that'll help you. Then there's W, so I want to get rid of this minus 2N. So all I do is do the opposite and plus 2N. So P plus 2N equals 8W. And because it's 8W, I want to divide by 8 to get rid of that 8. So I divide both sides by 8. So I've got P plus 2N. Everything divided by 8 equals W. Simple as that. Now this one's a bit more interesting because I've got W squared plus T. Well, first thing I'm going to do is get rid of that T because it's in the middle of nowhere. So let's get rid of it by doing the opposite and taking away T. So that's easy enough. S minus T equals W squared. Now, I don't want W squared. I just want W. So what's the opposite of squaring a number? Well, we square root. So I'm going to square root both sides. So on the left hand side, I'm going to have the square root of S minus T. And then obviously W squared, if I square root that, I'm just left with W. OK. Uh, next one over here, again, I've got this divide by 5, just like my, one of my previous examples. So I'm going to get rid of that by times in by 5. Again, both sides. So I'm going to have 5V equals W squared minus H. So it's very similar now to what we had up here. So I'm going to get rid of that minus H by plusing H. Again, to both sides. So I'll have 5V uh, plus H equals W squared. And again, I'm going to square root both sides because it's W squared. So I'm going to be left with the square root of 5V plus H equals W. Okay, so it looks horrible. 
it's actually quite nice when you start doing the steps. So this one here, this time, the 2w plus c, everything there is being squared. So what do I do? Well, I've got to deal with that first. And just like I said before, what's the opposite of squaring a number? We square root. So I'm going to square root both sides, which will leave me with a square root of t. And then obviously then that square will disappear. So I'm just left with 2w plus c. And then I just treat it exactly the same as the number 4. I'm going to minus c to both sides. So the square root of t minus c equals 2w. Then I'm going to divide both sides by 2 to get rid of that. So I have the square root of t minus c divided, everything divided by 2, and that equals w. Same thing here, if you have a square root, the opposite of square rooting is to square. So I'm going to square both sides, so I'm going to be left with s squared on the left hand side, and then obviously the square root will disappear if I square it. So I'll have aw minus c, and it's then the same steps as before. Get rid of the c by adding c. So s squared plus c equals a w. Then I can get rid of the a by dividing by a. So s squared plus c, everything divided by a, equals w. This one here, only part of it, is square, it has got the square root, and this plus r on the end isn't. So I'm going to get rid of that plus r first by doing the opposite and taking away r. So y minus r equals the square root of 3w. Now I can get rid of the square root by doing a square like I did in uh, example m. So I square both sides. So I'm going to put the y minus r in brackets and then square it to show I'm squaring everything. And then that's going to equal 3w. Because obviously the square root, when I square that, it disappears. And then I'm left with 3w, so I'm going to divide by 3 to remove that. So I'm left with y minus r in bracket squared, all divided by 3, equals w. So there's lots of examples there of what to do in different um, scenarios. So hopefully that helps. Now these ones, these are where it gets a bit trickier. So what you might notice is that I've got a w here and I've got a w here. In which case you get all the w's on the same side. In this case I've done that because they're all on the right hand side and then you factorise it, you put it into brackets. So again, if you don't know how to factorise, have a look at my factorising single brackets video, it'll help you out. But W is the same on both sides, so W will come out, then what's left, N plus 2, and then all that means is W times N plus 2. So to get rid of this, I just divide by N plus 2. So divide by N plus 2, I'll put it in brackets still both sides. So I'll have p divided by n plus 2 and then that equals w. Now this one, stupidly, I copied down the example wrong. Uh, instead of having w's I put t's, so I just put a quick note here. So I'm, this time I'm going to make t the subject, in which case I've got a t on the left hand side and a t on the right hand side. So just like I did up here, I need to make sure that all the t's are on the same side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get them all on the left-hand side. It doesn't matter which one you do, but you need to get them all on the on one side. So to get rid of this and move it over here, I'm going to do the opposite and minus 3t. So on the left-hand side, I'll have a t minus 3t, and then that equals b on the right-hand side. Now all the t's are on the same side. I can then factorise it, doing the same thing I did here which will give me t on the outside, and then a minus 3 in brackets equals b. Then I can just divide by that a minus 3. Both sides. So I'm left with t equals b divided by a minus 3. OK. Um, so hopefully that, that that helps you with those ones. Let's have a look at this one here. So this one here... Um, back to the W, sorry, I'm now making W the subject. So I've got a W at the top and a W on the bottom. So it's a bit annoying and a bit fiddly. So at the minute, because I'm dividing by W, I don't really want to be dividing anything. So I'm going to times W on the right-hand side and times W on the left-hand side to get rid of that, which gives me DW on the left and then PW plus 2 on the right. Now, again, just like up here, I've got my W's on 
two different sides. I want them all on the same side. So I'm going to move this one over here by taking away PW, again, both sides. So I'll have DW minus PW equals 2. Then I do the same trick of factorising. So I bring the W outside the brackets and have D minus P in brackets and then 2. Uh, I run out of space. But all I then do, same ones up here, is divide by the bracket D minus P. So I'll have W equals 2 divided by D minus P. So that's what you do, guys, if the subject, if you have, sorry, two of the same subject. You get it onto the same side, everything else to the other side, and then factorise it so you can isolate it like I did in these three examples here. Okay, so hopefully that helps. Uh, cheers.